there's um i thought about that earlier today there's a quote and i, I was going to look it up but i forgot to do it um but there's oh i think it was a french philosopher actually who said probably in 1800 something uh, all of man's problem human uh, all of man's problem is that he can't sit in a room on his own yeah yeah yeah, that's a beautiful quote yeah. because it's true that um, if I look at my life and some people around me is that we are all the time on the run. Yeah. We are doing so many things. In, we are all the time in the doing mode. And this period forces us to slow down, to pause and maybe to reflect and to go within. So it's something we are not used to do. Mm, exactly there must be other people who when it all started thought you know what's wrong with me why am i you know why are all these feelings coming up uh, why am i suddenly feeling this way and i think especially like you said if you live with someone and you suddenly have to be with partner and children um 24 7 i mean and then at the same time there's stuff coming up because we're not distracting ourselves with, with work. Because in a way we could say um, our, our everyday work is also a, not a conscious distraction because it's what we do to you know, feel inspired, to, to earn a living and so forth. But, but it is a distraction from really maybe being in touch with, with what our essence wants to say or, or the song of our heart. So... Yeah, I thought, uh, I think it's important to talk about that it's normal, that we feel, you know, one day we might feel absolutely fine. That's what it was like for me, especially the first week or two. One day, absolutely fine, and I felt energized. And then I might have a day where I thought, oh, I'm really noticing things, emotions, feeling a bit sad, feeling a bit, a bit lonely. Um, feeling a bit overwhelmed and uh, you know I looked around and I thought gosh I haven't even tidied up properly. I, I'm smiling Kirsten <laughs> because actually it was the same for me um, especially as the two first weeks I went through like you know some really different feelings and emotions on a daily basis. Yeah. This period is about yes they're coming up we can feel them mm. okay let's acknowledge whatever is there yeah, exactly. and go with it yeah exactly allow it allow it to come up so we don't just spend this time uh, pushing it down like we normally do yeah. and then then you could say but but why can't i just push it down what how is that a problem but it is a problem isn't it because then it sits there in our everyday lives and it it uh, comes out in the shape of uh, maybe overeating or over drinking or habits that aren't good for us or being snappy or or whatever overreacting to things so yeah it like you said to really allow it to come up and to sit with it is important yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and you were just uh, giving some examples and it's a way to numb ourselves and uh, yes and i would say yeah let's let's just acknowledge whatever we feel at the moment mm. um well one of the things i like doing um if i can feel things coming up uh, i sit down with pen and paper so not not on a phone or a laptop and i just let my mind have whether it's a rant or you know just a stream of consciousness um just letting it come out without analyzing it. Um, I don't show it to anyone. Well, I can't at this moment in time anyway, but it's just a matter of, of just letting it come out um, and kind of being that, that space that can hold it, that can just allow it to be without saying it's wrong or I shouldn't be feeling this way. So it can after go, it's not yeah. any more stuck in our body. Yeah, exactly. It's not pressed down or stuck. No, no. And again, that brings us back to this thing of nurturing rather than numbing ourselves, but actually 
sit down, be courageous and see what's there so we can kind of declutter a bit mm -hmm. and create a, almost like new soil where we can plant some new flowers, some new plants and, and be conscious of what we want to plant. Yes. It's, it, it could also be easy to sit in isolation and think, oh, I should be in service. Should I be out there doing something? But taking time for ourselves or for people and families, um, being there for their children, uh, that's also being in service, isn't it? Because like we said, if we can transform what needs to be transformed for us to feel more calm and connected, uh, that way we are we are enriching the world we are doing something yeah. Yeah. for the world yeah i completely yeah. agree mm. so we're all contributing yeah in exactly way. in our own ways yeah. um because again we are all different so it's about mm. really as you said just right now it's about uh, really finding you own pace what is right for you yeah and uh, not comparing ourselves to others because uh, our circumstances our life is completely different from mm. each other so it's really about connecting within ourselves yeah. and uh, feeling yeah what is right for me right now yeah exactly really honoring that yeah um yeah because that way we learn to to relate to ourselves to connect with ourselves and hopefully yeah, with kindness, of course, and hopefully we can take that with us uh, into the future. Mm. Yeah.